Welcome to Tabarak Educational Platform. I'm Mr. Hisham Talat from Tabarak Private School. In the beginning, I have to thank our respected chairman, Mr. Yunus al Rahbi, for his great efforts to make this educational bridge to connect the students with the school. Dear grade 12 students, how are you? I hope all are fine. Today, we are going to explain one of the most important tasks we have in our English exam for grade 12. Of course, it's writing. Writing this semester will be interactive and informative. Today, we will start with the interactive writing. Of course, when we start with interactive writing, we mean how to write emails and the letters. So, in the exam, there will be a task writing to to ask you for writing or to write a letter or an email. So, we have to follow the steps of the writing accurately according to the specifications we have for interactive writing. Interactive writing divided into two parts or two sections to write formal and informal. Today we are going to explain the first type of writing. Interactive will be elements of personal letter. So what means personal letter to write? Of course when we say letter or email to the same. So elements of personal letter means friendly letter and also what can see that informal letter. So when we start our writing informal letter, so we should know the elements of writing this type of interactive writing. Elements of informal letter. Number one. Of course, start your email or letter by greeting. Number two, we have to ask about the health of the person who are writing to the email to or the receiver. Three, we have to state the reason why we are writing this email or letter. Four, what is the content of the letter? Five, we have to close and end our letter. Last, we have to say goodbye to the receiver. And the last step before finishing and sending our email or letter we have to write our name and signature. Let's go to have all the steps in details. Number one, greeting. How to greet your friend when you write an email? Of course, we have many options that many students have to write dear name comma. Dear name comma. And please don't forget to write the comma in the exam. Examples for this one, we have to write Dear Jack. Also, Dear Friend. Dear Father. Of course, if you have one of the friends, you can write his name. Khalid, Jack, Nasser, Aisha, Salma, like that. Or you can write, if there is no name in the email or letter, you can write dear friend. But if the receiver is one of your relatives or family, you have to mention the relative's relationship. So, dear father, dear cousin, or you can say hi Omar, hi Salim, like that, or hello, because he's your close friend. 
step number two or element number two we can use a supporting introduction and really I create it to support the students who cannot write well in the exam of course if you are perfect student and you are professional in writing you can do without it no need for this introduction but if you cannot manage in writing you can use it to support your emails as a good introduction I hope this email finds you in the best health sorry I haven't written to you for a long time as I was too busy taking my final exams of course you can do any change as you like I am very happy to write this email to you or, the, or this letter to you because you are one of my best friends how I like that okay secondly you have to go to ask about the person's health what means of course it's easy to write how are you and how is your family I hope you are all okay also you can write how are you I hope everything is okay or how are you I hope you and all your family are fine and in a good health after that we have to mention the reason why you are writing the letter or the email the reason what means see you have to start or it's a better not to have to of course it's a better you can change but mostly you have to can you we can use this one I'm writing this letter or this email to what after two now I'll give you some examples to help you in your email and letter see the examples I'm writing this letter to give you an advice you can complete I'm writing this letter to give you an advice about how to improve your English language or I'm writing this letter to invite you to my birthday party or I'm writing this letter or email to thank you for the gift you sent me yesterday or I'm writing this letter to ask you about how to make a cake <laughs> for example of course or how to how to drive a car how to be perfect in English it's okay after that we have to giving advice what means giving advice of course here in this um, lesson today I focused on giving advice letter because most of the letters I found in previous exams for grade 12 focus on giving advice to a friend it's okay I wish you understood why I choose giving advice here because it's the most important email and letter to be found in exams first there are many styles of giving advice when your friend writes to you an email or letter and ask you to give him advice you have you have to write a reply to him in this reply you have to use the words or the expressions that can be good for giving advice what are these expressions see now in red you should organize your time you should or you can organize your time it's a better for you to organize your time why don't you organize your time try to organize your time if I were you hmm, I would organize my time of course you should you can it's a better for you to do something why don't you try to if I were you I would, I would. so all this the what the expressions used to give an advice to a friend when I finish my advice and write the details of the email or letter then I reach the closing 
how to end your email or letter. See, I hope my advice helps you get rid of Facebook addiction. Because the topic of the email or letter was about your friend wrote for you to give him advice about uh, how to, what we can say, how to quit Facebook addiction or WhatsApp addiction like that. Okay, because he spends more time playing with his phone or using his phone with social media like that. So at the end of the email or letter, you have to say, I hope my advice helps you get rid of Facebook addiction. Or write me back and tell all your news. Write me back and tell me all your news or what happened or what happened also okay for you. Saying goodbye. Of course, we have before finishing and writing uh, your name in the email or letter, you have to say goodbye to your friend. You can't stop suddenly and finish the email. You have to pave the way to sign. So, how to say goodbye in the email? We have to see. You can say to him, take care, my friend, and goodbye. Or, see you soon. Or, best wishes. So, these are some expressions that can be used to finalize our email, all right, or to say goodbye to the receiver of the email or letter. Here, an example of a personal letter or a friendly email. It's okay. Dear Nasser, how are you and your family and friends? I hope you all are fine or okay. I'm writing this letter to give you an advice because I hear you are addicted to Facebook. First, you should organize your time. Also, try to do your school duties on time. Why don't you take up a hobby like swimming or reading? There are some bad habits you should avoid doing them to stop spending much time on Facebook. It's better for you not stay up very late. Very late, of course. Moreover, you shouldn't put the phone next to your bed when you go to sleep. I hope that my advice would help you get rid of Facebook addiction. See you soon, your best friend, Ali. It's just an example to help you to know the style or the format of writing a personal letter or a friendly letter. Now let's go to your task. Homework. What is your homework? Complete the following task. Write at least 100 words. Of course, when at least 100 words, you can write more. Of course, 120, 110, 30. Okay, in the exam. What is the situation of the email? You have been invited to a friend's party, but you can't go because you are so busy. Write a letter to your friend apologizing and giving you reasons for not being able, able to go to the party. Your writing should be clear and well organized. It's easy email and inshallah may be in the exam, so try to answer it. And I will send a new WhatsApp and a model program for revision in PDF format to be answered and you can send it back to school again. Thank you, my dear students. I wish you all the best. Homework and other educational activities will be downloaded on Tabarak model. And if you have any inquiry, you can email the school. Thank you.